Ronnie in the back. There he is. Anyway, uh, here's my uh, report on that, uh, here's my pirate report of that uh, ADSB uh, using an SDR solution. It's pretty awesome. For 30 bucks, you get this little dongle. Uh, and, you know, you're able to get uh, ADSB on your Android. So, anyway, so like, uh, here it is. So, oh yeah, that glare is kind of a pain. So, Tom, can you turn that south again, please? Okay, so here's the, uh, here it is, right? You can see it's picking up all kinds of traffic. Uh, this is Avair. Like one of the things I'd like to do is I use the actual Google Map that comes with the uh, with the uh, with the app itself, right? And you can see it's a little bit easier to discern. And they actually have airplane symbols, which is kind of cool instead of just dots on Avair. Anyway, um, yeah. If you look here, this is a good chunk of ocean. I mean, good chunk of land, and it's got like. Look at all those, look at all those contacts, right? And we're like, so, you know, what's interesting is, here we are, yeah, flying around, right? And, you know, here in Avair, I basically just go black, I put a background so that we don't, you know, it's easier to discern, because if I have a map out, like, for example, I'm going to turn on this, uh, um, Air chart here. So, you know, if you look over here, you know, you got these blue dots. Actually, this is pretty good. Uh, but sometimes in the clutter, those, you know, those things get lost. There. Like this guy right here. Who's that guy? Anyway, so we're like down here. pretty clear. I mean, you can see here how, like, you know, having, you know, yeah, it's great, you can see all this, but it's not really useful when you're up close, right? So, like, there's, you know, you've got all these traffic right now, right off the nose, right? But then once you start zooming in, um, you know, it gets lost in the clutter. So, like, overall, you know, my take on it is, yeah, it's a good piece of kit. It works as advertised. Probably takes a little bit of getting used to. Probably a little bit too much information for the pilot there. But, you know, it's pretty freaking ama you know, amazing, given it's only 30 bucks. You can see all this, right? Um, okay, so, you can see all these tracks here. We're getting all the way to the end of the map here. Put a sectional up. And you can see how, how busy you can get and how cluttered. And now it just gets lost in the, you know, in the map. But there's a little bit of uh, playing that needs to happen there. I feel like I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, so overall, what do I think? Yeah, it's pretty neat. It definitely works as advertised. Lots of information there. Um, but, you know, you got to th think about things like, yeah, your display can't be, you know, you can't have too much glare like this. You know, the display actually powers the SDR, so it's got a limited amount of time, maybe two hours of play time, which, you know, for a lot of people, that's good enough. And then, um, yeah, I think there's, especially for Avair, I'm sure that they can make these dots here, you know, instead of just dots, make them into, like, airplane symbols, kind of like, like, you know, like here. It's so much easier to, 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 to read things like this right here. You know, yeah, what's this guy right here? Cessna 50 Golf, contact Potomac 126.1. 120. So it's a lot easier to kind of get a little bit of essay of what kind of aircraft those are. But anyway, I think that's a couple of notes for the Avair folks. Hopefully they can, uh, you know, implement those. They're pretty helpful. Anyway. That's, uh, I think it's worth your while to do that. It's a uh, minimum good parlor trick. But it can be pretty good, SA-wise, especially if you're not the dude flying, you know. Uh, you know, when we do, when we fly long distances, usually either Tom or I are, you know, one's flying and the other one's navigating and doing all the comms. Um, so that's when it's super useful. It gives you a lot of SA. But, you know, as far as, like, in situ warning, I still think the one that's, you know, TIS on the Dynon is good enough. Um, anyway, the other reason that I got this is for weather. Yeah, so here I turn on the weather, right? So you can see here, this is the E7 
he's he's one nine one pop back up ten with those driving seats and uh, yeah, it's all green because it's VFR 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 everywhere. Unfortunately, there's no weather to display, but I think there's like a marginal VFR right there. It'll be right there, but yeah, overall east coast of America right now is just excellent weather. So I think that's the utility of this uh, system. The primary utility will be just basically flying around getting uh, weather data as well uh, on top of uh, um, traffic. Anyway, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I think thumbs up overall. Um, I'll put the, a description uh, of the components down below in the description and then uh, share in the comments what you think. Alright, talk to you later.